I'm going to do your November read. It's Outdoor Healing 1111. Thanks for stopping by. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll get along with the reading. So I pulled the first Lenoran deck right before I hit play, and it came out the seventh. Seven of Snake in the Lenoran deck. Someone betrayal, someone getting away with some sneaky behavior. Not seeing this coming in. Be careful. Seven, right? Seven is the lucky number. But I'm giving you notice. So that's why you're lucky. Someone's coming in with bad, bad energy. So if we can protect you in this, let's do that, right? It's also your mom. Patience and planning. Seven. You're abundant, man. You should go to the casino. Someone needs to play the lottery. Seven, seven. Divine everywhere. Spirit is working in your energy. Balancing things out between patience and planning. It's about the perfect timing with you. Dropping a ball. Six. Memories of love. You have the lover's card. Ooh, I see a little reminiscing about the past. Maybe a new relationship coming in. Holding love in your hands, finally. Triumph. Holy shit. Seven, 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 Geminis. This is your month. Working on your heart chakra, your emotions. Fast and furious. The Knight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Moving in quickly. Going to get your person. Oh, we have ancestors too. Healing and wisdom. That's got two sides of the coin for you. Promise you got the lovers. Who else got the lovers? Scorpio. Leo and Scorpio here. So maybe Gemini is looking at a Libra or Scorpio. The new moon coming in. I don't know about it. Oh, you have temptation, which is coming from the other deck of cards. One and five is six. We have two sixes and three sevens. New beginning and uncertainty. The winner, Celeste. This is your season. Still calm and peaceful. Calm energy. I can feel it. Gemini, very, very good. You've gone through the, the earth, the wind, the fire, and passion cycle. This is your time. It's coming in. I have the chills. Ooh, that's awesome. Let's see some cards about your person. You got a lot more cards pulled for spirit than any other one. But of course, it's smooth riding and... Leo's coming out of something. Friday's a good day for you. Spirit, what do we got? Was I a mistake? Maybe it's someone from the past. And this person, the new person, wants to be your last love. So you're revisiting old love on Friday or someone from your past or someone new. You're going to get a message to the heart. Maybe a Taurus here. Maybe a Capricorn. Just an inclination for you. Some romantic cards for November. Abundant, you are. Seven, seven, seven. Jackpot. This person's a jackpot. You're getting ready to hit the jackpot. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit. To... It's been a long time since you got youthful. Maybe you've been with the same person for a very long time. And now you're meeting someone new. It's like if you look at the way he looks at her, she's... Light and he's dark. That's polarity. The other side of it. Dark and light. Balanced energy is coming in from your ancestors. Free yourself. The unicorn. It's time to take back control of your life. Sensing you're going through a divorce and you're, you're really trying to find out who you are, right? If you're lovable anymore. And healing family issues. Yep, you have children. Your daughters need you right now if you have daughters. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's a lot of healing going on. Good for you. Let's get some messages from your new person, Gemini. What do we got here? Kiss me. Why you want to kiss me? I want to kiss you every day of my life. We are going to have to work on this, but I want us every day for the rest of our lives. So there's some challenges. There's nothing I can say that will ever take away the pain. I am very sorry. So it looks like you're saying sorry to the past. Maybe, you know, maybe get married before and a divorce is coming to an end. But your wish fulfillment is coming in. I have loved you for a thousand years and I will love you for a thousand more. I have a feeling when you meet this person, it's going to be nostalgic. Like you're just going to know when you meet them. Like you've shared another life with them.
Okay, we're gonna do week one, two, three, and four for my Geminis. And I gotta get out of here. Days flying by. Multiple choices coming in and communication. So maybe you're on a dating site, maybe you're out and about, maybe you're going to some kids' events, but you're moving forward now, you're ready to let go of the past. New offer in love, confirmed second week, and victory. You're in your head instead of your heart. You're thinking clearly, coming in with victory. Maybe around Christmas time. Woohoo! Third week. Coming in fast again. Seeing what you like. Cutting things out that no longer serve you. And a new wish fulfillment. A new chapter of your life. The wheel of fortune is turning. Your contract is closing and a new one's getting ready to begin. Good. Queen of Pentacles. This person has money. Maybe some masculine. Crosswatcher might be female. Weighing out your money. Going through a divorce, judicial system, with a Libra. Final outcome for the reading here. Cutting shit up that no longer serves you. King. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're showing up at your own reading. 777 for the King of Swords. When you do people right, you go through the transformation and you get abundance. It's always the person who cheats that moves on first. In this case, the person who stayed behind, victory is yours. It's okay to take that step forward. New world, the clouds have been lifted. You're holding your power and wearing your crown. Thanks for watching. This is an awesome read, Gemini. Have a great Thanksgiving. Like, share, and subscribe. Please share the message with everyone in case they need it. I'm a spiritual lender, healer, bridge gapper, anything. Please watch, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching Outdoor Healing 1111. Have a great November.